What's up, Legends? The number one Loba is back to give you guys some more tips on how to play Loba. And as always, if you're still hating on Loba, bruh, just suck it, dude. Loba tip number nine, bracelet tips. The difference between a good Loba main and a bad Loba main is going to be how that player utilizes her bracelet. It is very unique and challenging to master for a lot of people. So how should you use a bracelet? First and foremost, you should always take high ground when throwing her bracelet. Beat the enemy team to the high ground is going to give you advantage in that fight. But be patient and let your teammates catch up so you're not fighting the other team alone. The next tip will be knowing exactly when to teleport. Very rarely will you need your bracelet to travel the full distance. In fact, mine never really does. Because if I'm weaked or I'm getting aped, I have to be sure that I time that bracelet perfectly so that I don't die while I'm teleporting. You must be instinctive while playing Loba. And obviously you can't teach instincts. But if you're being shot at or you're about to take damage, call that bracelet down immediately. Don't just let it hang there. Don't be afraid to escape situations with a bracelet. Be aggressive with it. Always add movement once you teleport. Throw it behind cover. Throw the bracelet at a 45-ish degree angle. And for you guys to start practicing. See you later.